I'm TM Glass. The pictures that you see in this exhibition are mine. The, uh, the pictures are called photomontage. Photomontage is a technique that I use where I combine many different pictures, photographs that I take, and put them together with uh, paint that is digital, so it's very high tech. All is done on a computer with four different kinds of software in use. And when I was an art student, we used acrylic paint, oil paint, watercolor paint, but these pictures are done with computer paint, a digital kind of paint. And I have a, a pen it, that I use right on the screen after I assemble the photographs. Everybody wants to know why I'm always using flowers in my pictures. The reason is that flowers are maybe the most beautiful thing in the world. If you are religious, or even not religious, you can believe that flowers are here to un make us understand what the beauty of nature is and how nature is beautiful. Um, nature uses a geometry to create the structure of flowers and we understand that very well when we walk through a forest and we feel uh, the attunement with the forest and, and we feel that we belong with nature. And when you look at the shape of flowers, you have that feeling also. So in these pictures, when you look at them for a long time, you feel very peaceful and very in tune with nature. The reason that I um, created these pictures in the exhibition was for the occasion of this exhibition. Canada Blooms and Landscape Ontario came to my studio and asked me to create a celebration of Canada's 150th anniversary of Confederation. And I was very happy to do that because I was, of course, very interested in creating flower pictures. And I, I was wondering what kind of flowers grew in the in gardens of Canadians in the year 1837 when Queen Victoria signed the Declaration of Confederation. And so the research that I did uh, made me understand that back then people were growing all kinds of flowers in Canadian gardens and the, gar the flowers that they grew, some of those grew in my own garden and so in, in these pictures I concentrated on the, the flowers that uh, were grown back in 1837. This picture contains a photograph of magnolias the flowers are combined with another picture of a vase that was taken from the Gardner Museum, the Gardner Ceramic Museum in Toronto. And uh, I combined these two pictures, marrying them with digital paint on a computer using four different kinds of software. It uh, takes a long time to make a picture like this. It took me three months. And there's a lot of handwork that I did, a lot of drawing, a lot of painting. Um, when you get very close, you can see all the detail. The picture is five feet high by five feet wide. Magnolias are very interesting flowers. They grow on a big tree and they're old. Magnolias were in Canada and they grew actually all over the world in every country a long time ago before the dinosaurs. And uh, Scientists know they, they were in the world a long time before the dinosaurs. And they're beautiful flowers. Um, they look tropical and they, they managed to survive the winter in Canada and still come out looking so lovely and their perfume is wonderful. This vase is very interesting. It's from the Gardner Ceramic Museum and it's 1500 years old. and. It's from uh, early America, ancient America, pre-Columbian. Inside, I put flowers from my garden. Um, they're onion flowers. So the onions that you eat, they, when, when you leave them in the garden and you don't pick them, they turn into flowers and then we get seeds. And when I saw these flowers in my garden, I thought, oh, they're so beautiful. I have to put them in this picture. 
and I thought onions grow onions are very interesting because they're so unusual and I thought it would go very well with this vase because onions grew in Canada many many years ago uh, around the time of Confederation and I thought it would be perfect for this exhibition. This flower, lilacs, they're my, uh, probably my favorite flower and I love the perfume and I, I was very happy when yesterday a little boy came to the exhibition, only four years old, and he told me, I can smell these flowers and I know what he's talking about because I can smell them too. When I see the, the picture in the winter and I'm waiting for spring, I l only have to look at the picture and then I smell the wonderful perfume from lilacs. In this picture, we have a flower that's very special to me. It's called Bleeding Heart. And my grandmother grew bleeding hearts in her garden and her grandmother also grew, grew bleeding heart. And when I made my own garden, I planted bleeding heart. Not very many people today use this plant. It's very, people think it's old fashioned, but I love it and I wanted to put it in this picture.